Hello, hello. Uh, slightly unusual uh, live tonight. Uh, it's a beautiful evening on the east coast of Scotland and this is me sort of looking out over the Tay estuary. Uh, I'm currently in Newport, hello. And I have come all the way from somewhere along that way uh, and cycled through all of that, cycled up the estuary into Industrial Dundee and then over the Tay Bridge, which is away up about here, and then past all this lovely stuff, and into Tayport and around about. But I'm not doing any sort of drawing or anything uh, today. Uh, it's purely sort of out and about because I'm sort of enjoying it. But uh, the reason for doing the, the live is that I have myself an e-bike. Now, I am a mountain biker and I still have a mountain bike and things like that, but I do also commute uh, every day to work and basically I bought myself a hybrid, uh, which is an e-bike, and it is a, by a firm called uh, Bikester in Germany. It's all German. And it's a brand called Ortler, which is one of their own brands. But the really neat thing is that absolutely everything on it is uh, branded. The whole shebang is branded. And it's got a Shimano uh, E7000 uh, mountain bike motor. The E6000 uh, uh, controller up here along with the trigger shifter uh, for the, the motor and so on. And it's then got Shimano parts uh, all the way through. Some of the parts, like the brakes and the derailleur, are sort of more basic, but at the end of the day, it isn't a mountain bike. Uh, so I'm sort of less bothered about that. I am commuting every day on it. But when I see that all the parts are branded, uh, the mud guards are branded, they're aluminium. The pannier rack is uh, very obviously very practical and that is also uh, branded. You've got the branded uh, lights front and back that run off the main battery and you've got a Cell Royale uh, saddle as well. A bit bigger than my uh, normal one on the mountain bike. But it is really neat. Uh, the frame is made in Europe. Uh, and basically all of the parts are European, uh, other than Shimano, obviously they're a sort of global company. But uh, I've done over a hundred miles with it. It was delivered uh, fully constructed and it has been absolutely brilliant. Now, thus far to cycle from somewhere up about there, uh, that is really, you know, a fair trek to, to here and I have used one uh, unit of battery and it's telling me that I've got up to 73 miles worth of range. Now, uh, that's really pretty good. Uh, it does come with a Shimano battery, which if I sort of rotate around here, you will see that it's locked in so it's removable and it just pops out there. And then there is a second latch, the sprung latch that you just press down with your finger. That particular detail is actually not terribly visible on anything, uh, so uh, do be aware if you get one that there is a sprung latch and you just release it. But you could see the, the Shimano E1000, uh, 7000 motor there, and then the way that everything is fitted together. And the frame and so on is really quite neat. Uh, I chose not to go for a suspension, front suspension, it's just got uh, a rigid fork on there, but it's really quite elegant. And actually, I picked this bike as much as anything for its look, uh, because I thought it looked really quite neat. And actually, it sort of reminds me of uh, one of my first ever mountain bikes when I was a young lad back in the 1990s. So uh, that's that. But it comes complete, as I say, with the mudguard. It's also got a chain guard there as well and it's one speed up front and it's nine speed at the back and that's fine for me uh, doing the commute. Uh, quite frequently go home at lunchtime and so on 
uh, to uh, uh, let the dog out and stuff like that. Uh, but I also use it, obviously, because I do come out painting and sketching and things like that. And if I've got that, it just encourages me to a greater extent to actually come out and enjoy all of this, you know, uh, because it is a stunning bit of the world. And, you know, it means that I can actually enjoy uh, painting or drawing uh, for a little bit longer. I think all of the cable management and so on is really neat. And a lot of it is internal within the frame. And the graphics and so on are very neat as well. Uh, on this particular side, you can see the speed sensor there uh, for the Shimano uh, controller. And you can also see that all of the wiring going to the controller, ultimately that goes into the frame as well, you know. Uh, so it is, uh, you know, quite uh, uh, quite elegant from that perspective. I think the one thing about the frame is perhaps the paint finish is that I quite like it. It's a matte, everything is matte grey, bluey, slightly blue-grey which is one of my sort of favourite colours as a as an architect, but it is matte and that will matte mark gradually, you know, so you just have to be sort of aware of that. Uh, the one thing about it which is maybe slightly marmite is that it's got an adjustable stem. Now, the bike is actually available um, in three separate sizes, so you can actually get it to you know, size that pretty much suits you and there are uh, step through frames, there really is a, a real variety in frame choice. So I don't know if that is something that is absolutely needed and ultimately I might replace that with a, just a solid uh, short stem and that might be uh, fine for me. So there you go, I have gone electric at least for uh, my commuting and my uh, painting and drawing and so on and getting around uh, but I think it is you know a terrific bike uh, and certainly a terrific bike for the money uh, you know I did a lot of research and wanted to pick the the best thing for me at, you know that was economic and having done all of that I would say that I've got a really good bike uh, with branded parts at the sort of price that other people are paying for uh, a bike with unbranded parts with a hub motor as opposed to a mid-drive motor on this bike. Now, I think that is a huge uh, difference in terms of part quality, but also if you are out and about and you have a flat tyre, then actually taking a hub motor off and a back wheel or a front wheel off is an awful lot harder uh, to get that sorted out when you've got electrics going to it as well uh, because you need to actually use spanners etc rather than quick releases whereas this bike quick release front and back and the motor is down where the bottom bracket would normally be and uh, I think that is actually a, a real advantage so thank you very much uh, slightly different live uh, I hope you have enjoyed it and if you are looking for an e-bike, uh, you know, I think Bikester are actually worth looking at. I had a really good service from them. It did take about uh, maybe 17 days, but they did say that it would probably take about 17 days. It was really well packaged. I think it's been good value for money. And uh, that is the Ortler e Montreux. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much and good night from twilight in Scotland uh, just enjoying the view so thank you very much, good night